another episode of Mr. GM Fan working on a Ford. Um, I did some work on this truck. I didn't turn my camera on because I had a lot of little bits and pieces, odds and ends to get done. So I didn't uh, didn't shoot any video yesterday, unfortunately. Plus, I was trying to get the place cleaned up for the Fourth of July. So getting excited about that. It's also my mother's birthday on the Fourth of July. So we got plenty of fireworks. The whole crew's coming here to the home place. It's going to be a lot of fun. Try to shoot a little video, uh, get some video of my grandson on playing on the tractors, my son, two girls, uh, a couple of nieces, so it's going to be a lot of fun. But I just want to give you guys a quick update on the old Ford. Uh, I ran a little bit of gas through that gas tank and sucked it out, and surprisingly, it's pretty clean. Uh, I don't have a scope, but I'm thinking about maybe buying a scope from Harbor Freight. I did get a, Fort July, or a, a couple of 20% off coupons. I'm sure I'll get one for the 4th of July. Maybe I should get a scope. If you guys out there have got some good suggestions on a scope, just put it in that, uh, that little chat box on the bottom here so I can see it. And maybe uh, that'll spur another one of the fellows or gals out there. And uh, you know, give me some ideas. Um, so update. I did replace, let's see if I can find the old one over here. Okay. I, the, I replaced the ignition switch. Uh, it wasn't too difficult. I didn't really film anything because there's oodles of videos out there on how to do it. You need a paper clip and a screwdriver and that's literally it. Uh, popped right out and new and popped back in again. Uh, put power to it and voila, the radio started working. The blower motor worked, lights worked. Uh, lights did work before. Uh, the directional signals work, the bulbs light up. Uh, so this uh, definitely needed to be replaced. Uh, also, uh, I got sucked into one of those Madco emails it was a uh, something friday lightning friday something friday super deal uh, so i typed in because uh, i had bought some i had bought some parts for some matco uh i think it was some air tools and very very good company i think they're out of ohio uh, i've been pretty happy with them uh, but anyway, so they gave me a, like a 20% off coupon for these screwdrivers. I needed some better screwdrivers anyway. Uh, I've got some, uh, some pretty nice uh, uh, screwdrivers, but I'll, I'll get into this in another video and uh, maybe just do a quick um, review on, uh, on this brand as well as, uh, so this is a, a, a German company makes this. And I've got two other German brands that I'll show you. I'll kind of do a head-to-head -head just to show you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. But uh, so far, these have worked phenomenally well. I've had zero issues. Uh, why should I? They're brand new. But uh, I, there's a lot of little details that I like about these screwdrivers. So look, look for that video. I'm going to try to get that shot. Uh, all right. Well, let me turn you off and uh, we'll... Get you in there. Okay. So I've got that, uh, I've got the washer bottle and pump put in. Uh, the hoses are all free. I haven't put power, I forgot to try to test that to see if it, did, if it hums. Did not, but they got that in. I've got the uh, DuraBox, or uh, the DuraSpark box uh, mounted. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, of course, I, <laughs> I removed the radiator. So let me go out here. Maybe the sun's not too bright. So I got the radiator removed and so far so good. I don't really see any, any damage that's gonna prevent it from getting redone. So I'm gonna drop that off at the radiator shop uh, next, next week, this week, and see what they can do. Uh, unfortunately, the guy that the guy that I've been using for geez over forty years, well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, forty years. I'm yeah. 
Uh, I'm in my 50s, so yep, it's been 40 years. Um, passed away. He's actually, he redid the radiator, uh, cleaned it, cored it, uh, soldered a leak in Dallas. Uh, and I tell you what, that guy, he did phenomenal work. He did the radiator in the A. John Deere and fuel tank, got both of those repaired. Uh, he was a character. I, sometime I'll have to do a video out to where he used to work at. So I got uh, got that radiator out. Um, pretty dark in here, uh, but uh, oh, I don't have a battery anymore. I put it back in the Alice. But yeah, the radio works works really well. Uh, blower motor makes some noise, so we know that's working. I'll come to the back here, and oh, there's that tail light fresh from the salvage yard last Sunday so we are getting closer now I just have to get an aftermarket bumper for this if you guys have any ideas on where to get a decent aftermarket bumper just put it in that chat box and let me know what you think because uh, I'd like to get this replaced uh, the frame the mouse everything's good back there but this has just got rusty and bent up so I need to replace that uh, oh, looks like my sister dropped off the lawnmower. It doesn't want to start, so we'll start working on that here shortly. But uh, I wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, I think I'm forgetting something. Oh, I remember what I forgot to mention. Uh, the, uh, the, the hinge for the hood. Got that put in. That thing works really well. Now I just realized that that side, and I knew I should have taken it off the day I was at the salvage yard, and I completely forgot to do it. But this one, I think because the other one was broken, this one was compensating and it's, it's pretty warped. Um, it's not horrible, but uh, you know, I think I, think I, I bought it pretty, pretty cheap. So I'm, I'm gonna go out there and, and pick that up and just do, a, do another once over on that uh, 78 that's at the salvage yard and see what I can find. Anyway, fellas, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you do me a little favor and just give me a thumbs up, uh, put a comment in there. It, it really helps me out. Uh, I've got, my goodness, almost 80 subscribers already. Uh, I, I started this as just a hobby for something for my kids to look at and for me to kind of, you know, look at some of the projects that I'm working on. And all of a sudden, I've got some people that are interested in the same <laughs> same old same old stuff that I am old ag equipment and uh, autos so well we've got some more cars uh, planned um, so stay tuned and uh, you know maybe I'll do a kind of a once over of this old uh, Buick station wagon as well this was uh, uh, this was a station wagon that my father bought brand new it's got the 350 Olds diesel engine in it uh, it does have about 300 and whatever the odometer reads uh, on it, uh, but GM did end up putting two engines in this diesel. Um, so when, when he did decide to trade this in, uh, about two, three weeks later, the head gasket blew again. So he parked it literally in this spot and it hasn't moved. I did take the heads off quite a few years ago, uh, hoping to maybe do a little work on it, but uh, my father pretty much just said, let's abandon this car. So unfortunately, we're probably going to be um, yanking this out and, and putting it for scrap. Um, again, it's got a lot of miles on it, but it's tough. But we took this thing all over the country, uh, from Boston to Canada, uh, Arizona, um, there's a seat in the back that that was my spot. I think this is an 83, if memory serves me right. It's got the Olympic sticker on there. Oh, no. Oh, support American agriculture. Oh, I'm thinking of that, uh, I'm thinking of that, uh, LeSabre, that white LeSabre on the other part of the property. So, um, Yeah, no rust, 
uh, of course, except the bumper. Those things are notorious for rusting out. My grandparents had an 84 Park Avenue, and I ended up finding a bumper for that uh, out in uh, the desert somewhere, I'm assuming Arizona, New Mexico, and I was able to get that shipped here. That was many years ago, though, and it didn't have a speck of rust on it, so I was able to get that, and surprisingly, it was not that difficult to install. So, uh, if any of you guys are interested in this car, I'll, I can do a video on, uh, on this old diesel, show you the engine, uh, maybe try to put a battery in it, and see, I, I'm pretty confident that I took the heads off. Oh yeah, uh, looks like I've got one off. There's that old head for the regular. Oh, I did end up taking both those heads off. Okay, so both heads are off. Uh, maybe do a little deep dive in this whole thing. And uh, again, only if you guys are interested. Um, I'm not gonna do a video if, I, if there's not a lot of feedback on this because the old uh, uh, diesels, that's a very finite group of people that are interested in them. But anyway, I'm gonna sign off. Uh, I've yacked at you long enough here. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And have a wonderful Sunday and God bless.